Hey everybody, it's Miranda here and I've got an altered canvas to share with y'all. I created this for Discount Paper Crafts Etsy store. Um, it's Kathy's store and she has all the yummy stuff that I used on here. And also, heads up, she has the engraver, the brand new Prima Release engraver and lifetime collections in her store. And a lot of the new masks such as the Crackle Mask. She has it in 12 by 12 but this is just the um, 6 by 6 one. This is like a must have. You guys have to get this mask. I love it so much. So anyway, she has all that stuff in stock and the new Ingle Balm, Junkyard Treasures, the metal pieces and stuff. So, um, and a lot of people were confused. Things get released at different times with Prima. Like they'll release some stuff this month and then some stuff the next month. So she will be getting everything in her store. So just stay tuned for that. Anyway, I had created this for a friend of mine and I followed the um, Prima product pick for this month, the PPP they post, but then I forgot to upload it to them before it was due on the 31st and I didn't upload it in time. So, um, but all the colors and everything was taken from that little, you know, product pick that they post on their blog. And um, I just wanted to do something really mixed media. I did record the process of this um, up until a certain point and then my camera died and I didn't realize it. So, but I think I was pretty well done with it whenever the camera did die. But if you'll notice on the sides here, this paper, it looks like this is on the canvas. Like the canvas was printed this way. And I did an image transfer. And I'll show you how I did that. So it's not like paper. Like you can see the grain of the canvas. You're taking off all the layers of papers until just the image is left on there. I really, really, really like that effect. I mean, I knew you could do it with pictures and stuff. But I didn't know if it would work, you know, covering a whole canvas with it. And it did. So I was happy with it. But I will show you how to do that in the video, so the whole background paper is done um, that way. And it is the Botanica Bella, I think, from Prima. It's an older collection. Um, so I did that, and then I just distressed up, took up some of it off, so it was like really worn looking, and used frayed burlap everywhere. I used another Prima mask from um, Kathy's Etsy Store Discount Paper Crafts. It's that big floor circle one, absolutely beautiful. So I used that everywhere. And then I used a lot of resin pieces and chipboards. I laid down um, some cheesecloth in different colors. I dyed this one with some um, glimmer mist from Kathy's store. It's this one right here. And then the other one I just kept white. And I just kind of layered those going all the way up over here. And this resin piece, this came from Kathy's store. And it's called the, let's see, it's the Marvel Collection. So you get the corner pieces in the frame with it. And I used the other corner piece right there. But when I was taking it off, the frame broke in half. And initially I was going to use it over here where this one is, but I kind of liked it. So I just wanted to place it kind of linear, like an L almost on here. So that's what I ended up doing. So that came from Kathy's store as well. Um, so I lined those there and there. Down here is the um, Prima Lace Bling Trim. And this is from the Prima Almanac Collection from Kathy's store. And she does have this in stock. I fussy cut this little tidbit here from the... Um, Prima Almanac Collection, I think a note card or something. This is a Prima Key from Kathy's store. You know, some of the stuff I use is from like last year's releases and I'll have a few of them left. Like I think I have two of these um, or three of these keys left. They look like that right there. So I just used one of those there and kind of whitewashed it a little bit. Um, when I put this frame here, this part was going to be covered up so I wanted to cut that off and kind of use it over here since that frame was broken. Kind of wanted to mimic that effect. So this is from that Petaloo Mistables frames. Absolutely beautiful. I love these so much. They're so pretty. Um, so I put that little piece right there. I did some fussy cutting from the Prima Pixie Glen paper line. It's one of my favorite paper lines that they ever released just for the fussy cutting elements. Like it's my go-to paper when I want to do some fussy cutting. Um, so that little banner came from there. This is a little velvet trinket from Rosarian from Kathy's store. All these flowers are from Kathy's store. I don't remember the names of them. I think this was called like Caballetta or Caballetta. It's two L's so I guess why. But um they're from last release with Prima. These are the Godivas. I do know that and I want to say these are from the Coventry but I can't quite remember. This is from another Prima spray that I just kind of have coming out over there. This is a Prima printery chipboard piece that I'd had in my stash for a long, long, long time and finally um, pulled that out and used it over there. A little Prima clock from Ingold Bohm's Junkyard Findings and I put that there. And then this saying is fussy cut out from the Pixie Glen paper line as well and it says who's yesterday's look backward with a smile. And then I did a lot of fussy cutting here which a lot of it got covered up. There's a whole like flourish thing that's fussy cut over there with the little fairy attached to it but most of it ended up getting covered up but that's okay. And these are, I think I have these still. Hold on one second y'all. Let's see if I can find the name for y'all. Here they are. 
Okay, these are from Kathy Store, and she has these in stock. That's that butterfly right there. They are the um, Fabric Coffee from Prima, and I just whitewashed it, and then I used a Prima stamp to stamp on top of it as well, and then just added some chain to the center of it. Um, so that is basically it. I also put the little Prima resin piece up there, and you'll see a lot of like seed beads and little glass beads throughout, and I just used some um, gel medium and glues to adhere those down randomly all throughout, and I just kind of splattered some different sprays and stuff when it was all done, and um, I just had a lot of fun creating this little piece. So like I said, I did film start to finish on this, so I will go into that as soon as I'm done rambling here but I will have a link to Kathy's Etsy store down below of course and then a link to my blog as well and all the products that she still actively has in stock I will link those directly from my blog and then also like I said the engraver and everything is there um, a lot of really cool masks Prima released a lot of amazing masks this go around so I'm really excited to get my hands on those the crackle one have to have um, so anyway I hope everybody's having a wonderful week and I hope you guys like my canvas. If you have any questions at all, just let me know. And I will talk to you all soon. Bye.